most data analysts have programming skills in at least one language. Others choose to go the no-code route and learn tools like Tableau or Power BI. Regardless of whether you go the code or the no-code route, there's three key skills that you should know how to do in whichever tool that you're learning. While I'm focusing on three key programming skills for data analysts, these same key skills apply in any platform that you're using. Hi, I'm Jen. I help people build analytics skills and careers with new videos on this channel every week and a variety of additional resources that you can find down in the video description. Let's get into those three key programming skills for data analysts. Key skill number one, data cleaning and prep. The reality of most business data sets, or really any raw data set for that matter, is that they're far from clean. They need some work to get them ready to actually do analysis with. This could happen because the data entry is manual and it's prone to errors. Systems may interpret data in a way that's different from how you want to interpret it for the analysis that you've done, or maybe the people that have worked with it in the past have used it differently than you're intending to use it. Regardless of the reason, a key step in the data analysis process very early on is cleaning and prepping the data for analysis. Here you're looking for places where the data may be flat out wrong, where it may be inaccurate or corrupt, and you're rectifying those or eliminating those if necessary so that your analysis results can actually be useful. Depending on the data set and the maturity of your company with handling data, this can take the majority of your analysis time or it can be fairly quick. How do you prep for data cleaning? The first step is to actually learn a programming language. If your knowledge is basic or non-existent, I'd suggest a tool like DataCamp to help you learn a programming language and the fundamentals of the language to begin with. That will introduce you to the concept of data cleaning and prep and let you experiment in a very controlled environment. From there, get more practice time on other data sets to improve these skills. Repetition is key. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get doing it. You'll know what to look for. You'll know how to actually do the mechanics of working through that data cleaning and prep. This is something that you can do completely on your own, or there's some more curated options that can help you figure it out, but also give you some guidelines along the way. I've partnered with Stratascratch for today's video to help you build this skill, as well as the other two key skills that we'll talk about in the video. Stratascratch is a platform that helps you practice your programming skills using questions that companies are asking in data science interviews and sometimes data analytics interviews and are practical representations of the types of questions companies want you to be able to handle within a workplace setting. There are over 500 different questions that can be answered in both Python and SQL within the Stratascratch platform. You can pick general questions or questions that are specific to different companies. Companies like Facebook, Airbnb, Google, and more. Let's look at how it works with a specific example related to data cleaning and prep. On this sample question from the tool, you can see that you're given a specific data set to work with and then a place to put your answer in. You can get hints along the way and you can check your answer, see solutions that have been submitted by other users as well. If you're interested in trying Stratascratch for yourself, they're constantly adding new information nearly every month at a pretty affordable price. Use code CAREERFORCE15 to get 15% off of any membership level. Level. If you use that code, I'll also get a small commission, which helps me continue making videos just like this. Now onto programming skill number two, data segmentation and data aggregation. Most of the time, once you've finished data cleaning and prep, the next step is to either segment your data or start aggregating data together, sometimes aggregating data into different segments. At the most basic level, aggregating data is summing, it's averaging, it's finding median values within the data sets. And segmenting can look like many different things. It could be separating things into different years or months or production groups or different aspects of a certain product or service that's offered. Aggregating and segmenting data to gain insights help the business know what to do moving forward, what direction they should either look at more or sometimes exactly what changes should be made as a result of this. As with data cleaning and prep, you can also 
practice with segmenting and aggregating data within Stratuscraps. You can see an example on the screen demonstrating a question that's in the application that you can practice with this area. Programming skill number three, and again, whether this is programming or whether it's in a no-code environment, either way, you'll need to be comfortable with data exploration. Data exploration takes segmentation and aggregation of our data to the next level. It's about finding interesting trends and relationships that bring knowledge and value into the business environment. What can you figure out about where the business is headed? How are specific factors or events impacting the business performance? What areas seem most obvious that we should be addressing moving forward to have the best results? Again, you can practice these on your own or within a tool like Stratascratch, where we have this data exploration demoed in the problem that we're looking at now. Those are my three key programming skills for data analysts. If you wanna check out Stratascratch, use the link down in the description and code CAREERFORCE15 to get 15% off your purchase. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.